All right, guys, we are back after a very exciting game one where we saw Blitzkrieg pick up their first win. Uh, White Wolf did have a momentum shift there toward the very end, but weren't able to capitalize on it. Uh, once again, I'm Kenos here with Nickel. So, Nickel, what are we looking at for game two? Hey, everybody. What are we looking for game two indeed? Well, honestly, I can't really put too much negative on either team because like we were saying last time that it was pretty much even stevens throughout the entire matchup it was just blitzkrieg was able to get a leg up and keep it going throughout that entire matchup well i, I... Mean, th there were a couple of uh, comments we we had uh, both from ourselves and in the chat not um, enough damage <laughs> yeah yeah seeing white wolf have a little bit more of a focused damage dealer would be good obviously the caitlin was there but was not fed enough to get into a great position um, also, uh, they didn't really seem to be able to take advantage of the opportunities they had when they had them. Um, those a couple of positional fights by the dragon that they seemed to shy away from the advantage they had. Um, so we'll want to see if they're able to be a little more proactive and pick a pick some champions who can actually get out some damage, even if you're behind. Indeed. And maybe bow down to Greatbeard of Odin and get rid of the Morgana. So that at least someone can be happy. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Alpha did alright with it. We we criticized uh, his build a little bit there. Um, <laughs> it's tough to say. Um, I think that Alpha would have done well um, if he had had a little more damage. That could have been mm -hmm. some of the damage spike they needed. Um, Indeed. And I wasn't really too sure I, I hadn't w while the fights were also even I wasn't really noticing where most of the kills were going but getting more kills on Tilted Pig would have been good as well but it was a very low kill game overall yeah it was hard to tell or what exactly was going on because there was a bunch of shenanigans going on and White Wolf taking some notes or er, wait yeah White Wolf excuse me we swapped mm -hmm. sides White Wolf taking some notes getting rid of the Xerath this time Blitzkrieg still holding on to that Turk. I mean, it gave them a lot of good opportunities. I didn't see them... There was only one or two instances where they actually seemed to use the alt proactively. Mm -hmm. um, even during that one turnaround fight in top lane, they used the alt and just kind of were trying to run away with it. Indeed. Which, I mean, obviously, hey, it helps your survivability. But it's a nice like, pillow of comfort, right? Right. But I'd like to see, especially considering they weren't completely dead yet, I would have liked to see them actually use that invincibility to turn around. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how they decide to use it in this game, too. We also have Andy again with the set. Looks like they're stealing the Nunu. I like that choice quite a lot. Sig did yeah, great take things. Take that away with from it. Sig. Yeah, well, apologies. Yeah, he did do great things. Sorry I talked over you. Oh, that's fine. I'm actually thinking back on it, unless. Sig was fine with not being Nunu. I think they should have picked Nunu first. Because um, who the hell is going to pick Tarek? I mean, maybe, For real. <laughs> maybe Burn the Heretic likes Tarek. But who, who knows? I think that that's a less of a threat. Because, you know, Sig has admittedly had some difficulties in these past couple of games. And he seems very comfortable on this Nunu. But... And Iceberg came through, gents and ladies. Yeah, we'll see. Ace has had Icebird before in this split and hasn't done too much with it. Um, so we will see if this time is better. Um, I, you know, fingers crossed for the sake of Blitzkrieg, but I think that um, he's much better with Xerath, especially when White Wolf has someone like Caitlyn in that back row. Mm -hmm. And with Xerath being banned, would you think that Ooh, Ari coming through? Would you think a Lux would have been maybe better? Well, Lux is banned also. They, they banned on the I am side. blind. I am I'm absolutely blind. I apologize, folks. I should get my contacts checked. No Morgana pick also in these first six champions. So mm -hmm. maybe we won't see a Morgana? No. Yeah. It looks like that we got mid jungle and. Well, mid jungle top and support. Support and for Blitzkrieg and top for White Wolf, respectively. Yeah. I mean, White Wolf is the most likely one to pick Morgana. Um, yeah, the Ezreal pick as well there. Yeah, that Ezreal was giving them some trouble. I wonder if they're going to ban Caitlyn. 
Yep, Kaisa again, that's right. They've got the yeah, I don't want to deal with that Kaisa. A lot of burst coming out of that. Mm -hmm. I'd forgotten they banned her last one as well. Alright, so Caitlyn can still go through. Um, looks like they might not be going for that, though. I don't think that sticking with the Caitlyn is a bad choice, especially now that the um, Zareth isn't there. But mm -hmm. Tristana can be very annoying as well. Indeed. Can get a lot of good damage too, especially seeing that Nunu come through, and then if Ari's there with the charm, I want, we can see it. I want some hard CC from these last two champs from Blitzkrieg. I want like Hopefully Nautilus. You'll get it. <laughs> um, Hogma. Well, actually, I guess since Tarek's been picked up, they don't really have a. What the hell? You're not. You're not blocking him, Ilawi. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I'd love it if you did, but you're not going to. Not going to. Renekton has been too much tank for tonight. Right, Renekton's doing real well. He's putting in the work. Uh, he does have that stun I'm talking about. So he can get in on Tristana and Ari and shut them up. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised that White Wolf did not ban that Renekton. I feel like that and also the Xerath were giving them a lot of trouble. I am, yeah, I'm surprised also. I I think that um, J-Dog's Mordekaiser is overblown. Um, I think he has done some nice things with it, and maybe it's just something that uh, Andy does not like playing against. But in, in terms of important bans, I would maybe put Mordekaiser as 7th. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not like a critical ban, mm -hmm. in honest opinions. Right. You know, take out the Renekton, take out the Ezreal... Um, possibly take out the Jacks, but they've been banning Jacks for you. Do you like what White Wolf is bringing to the table this time? Mm -hmm. They have they have the damage that they were missing last matchup, I believe. And then also we got some good stuns going on with Nunu Snowball, Ari's Charm, Leona being Leona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. As long as setting up that Tristana, maybe even setting up that set Onari for some good damage coming out through. I like White Wolf's lineup quite a lot. The Kogma was a is a weird choice for me. Um, I appreciate that we have two different uh, ADCs here with Caitlyn being available, neither side picking her. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, that that's good in my book. Um, Warwick, we'll see how Sig does on that. Um, not really feeling the durability on Blitzkrieg's side either. Um, I mean, obviously Warwick can be durable and Renekton can be durable and it has been durable I should say Renekton is durable um, but we'll see how involved Sig is in the fights here because mm -hmm. um, I mean they do they don't have as many ways to lock down Tristana and Ari as I would like I think it's Indeed. My, my biggest issue um, obviously Anivia can put up her walls but everyone basically can go through them I'm looking forward to some fun wall stuff with Nunu's ball though I, I'm looking forward to Mix Link coming down with a big old ball, and then Anivia just puts up a wall, and it's ruined. And wall. It's just like, oh. Icebird wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see on that. And with how Sig was playing Nunu at least last game, I feel like that we're going to see a big Warwick presence this game, as long as he can keep that up. Just needs his routes done, and also just don't be too hasty with your initiations, right? Pick yeah. your battles, make sure that you know that this is something that's going to be won, not just fishing for kills here. Yeah, the greed is going to be something we're going to have to look out for. Don't jump into things just because you think you have an opening. Make sure you actually have a way to get in and get something get, done. And get out. <laughs> um, but I mean, he could take... The paths that he took to get in as Nunu, he could take with Warwick's fear effect and mm -hmm. possibly have a similar result. Right. Um, obviously, it's much shorter range and much slower, but there are possibilities there. Um, and we do have um, Sugo does have the artillery that they don't have from Zareth anymore. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who you're going to be using the artillery on. Tristana's relatively short range. Ari is going to be dashing around everywhere. Um, and maybe and that's just what they're looking for, right? Is just somebody with artillery to stay in the back lines. I don't know if I'm really hitting the mark on that, but that's what I'm seeing. You could have gotten something like that with Caitlyn with her long range, but I I don't mm -hmm. know if Shugo's just more 
comfortable with Kogma, which is probably what's playing the factor here. Right, and I mean, with all the dashing and jumping and Leona's sword, uh, I don't know if the backline is a safe place for uh, Blitzkrieg in this game. Indeed, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm leaning White Wolf this time. Um, I don't. I, it's not even an early game, late game sort of thing. I think White Wolf's going to take this one. But mm -hmm. we'll see. Uh, we'll see with who gets the skin win. Well, the skins are actually one and two so far today. So That's unfortunate. The magic, does happen. The, the magic of buying skins seems to be faltering. Damn it. Hmm. Uh, skins. Mm. I, I guess what? White Wolf. I mean, I'm I, gonna have to give it to White Wolf. Yeah. The. Yeah, the Blitzkrieg ones are just too basic for my tastes. <laughs> White Wolf has some nice differences going on, and plus Academy Ari. Ooh. <laughs> I've always liked uh, Iron Solari Leona. Not not quite as good as. Uh, some of her of her, her newest skin. I like that <laughs> a lot. <laughs> uh, sorry, looking at chat. Um, on a serious note, Prowler just said, but I don't see how War uh, Warwick, how White Wolf gets anything done in the early game to stop it. Indeed, that's something they're gonna have to get through. But then BK wins on Tarek alone. He's fabulous, and I do agree with that. Um. So yeah, big investment with a late game comp for both Cog and Anivia. Tristana can be late game as well, though. Um, Indeed. Obviously, not necessarily as late game. I think that um, Nunu might be able to give White Wolf the kind, the sort of edge that they're looking for here. Good um, gank potential early, especially if he goes bot lane and uh, and uh, burn the heretic follows up. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be. Oh incredibly brutal right and that's just something on the jungler right mix has to be on point mm -hmm. getting that done yeah i mean a lot is on uh mix's shoulders here but a lot was on sig's shoulders last game and he delivered so mm -hmm. that's how you play new new folks right you take a big old snowball and you and you look at this cute little duck look at this duck Look at this duck. Let's ask this duck how he's doing. How you doing, buddy? You doing all right? Mm, the majestic the space duck. Just look at this duck. Okay, we'll stop looking at the duck because the game's already started. <laughs> he did a little thing with his bill. Look at it. Look at it. See, you, you want to talk about Morgana games being boring. I just want to spend the whole game talking about this duck. <laughs> What's he doing? Alright, Android all right, Android 16, calm down. Alright, so we have um, help in the jungles, red and blue respectively. Why would you what? play Grey Warwick and then have a pink skin for him? Doesn't make is any sense. Is he pink? He is pink. Where is he at? Where's he at on the map? He's by wolves. With his kin, huh? Okay. So close. I enjoy that. It's gray. It's gray war work, which is boring, but pink brings it out a little bit. Just it's just a an interesting bit. chroma to have, especially considering the. I mean, obviously, you know, chroma is going to chroma. Yep. But um, the colors, the, the color being in his name, it'd be like having a skin called bright red Tristana, and <laughs> she's like dark purple or something. Right. Took me a second. I was like thinking, like pink, gray Warwick. Yeah, that just doesn't <laughs> doesn't roll off the tongue. All right. Now that my brain aneurysm is done, we have a uh, eternal in chat saying he appreciates your TFS reference. No problems. I'm full of them. And right, here comes the new new. Where's that ice wall? Do it. Do it. No. Disappointing. Did hit a minion though, so that's kind of a wall. The wet noodle fight is not just a wet noodle fight. Nice flash, although first blood is going to go to set. Sigtow Lord coming in, trying to clean up. And AoE is on the run. It's too slow. Can you do it, Sig? Yes. Good job, Sig. Oh. And then the Nunu's coming. 
Took that corner a little too hard. Sig's probably in trouble here. Oh, here comes J-Dog. Good use of that teleport. Wowie. Another snowball coming. Also, Ari trying to rotate as well. A lot of chromas on uh, both teams here. We got the Ari's got a chroma as well. Interesting. So, interesting ice fall name. Gregosaurus gank is not gonna get going. It's not tank. I need tank, not gank. What gets wins, comrades? Tank. You get tank, you get wins. You know. Alright, so once again we're in sort of an even game, obviously very early on. Why would you gank a tank? Doesn't make any sense. It's too durable. Uh, now we enabled them. Oh well. Well, they, they're already seven posts into gank posting, so... <laughs> Prowler trying to get on our good terms saying tank gank. Or actually... Queen Elizabeth said it first. Apologies. <laughs> they have competing churches of thought. I'm really liking all this aggressiveness coming out of uh, Andy in this game too. He is not having a repeat of the uh, the Cold War that they had up in the top lane earlier. Indeed. He's laying on those punches every chance he gets. Tank that gets behind is worthless. Now let's not say mean things to Shen. He's doing his best. Ah, uh, chat's getting active again. I love it. They heard uh, the hype of uh, Blitz getting their first win had to show up for game two. Right. I like that turnaround punch from Andy there. Uh, J Dog pushed under turret. Halfway to uh, six. Is Nunu soloing? He is. All right. We'll Nunu get this dragon uncontested. It do be like that. Sig is here as well. Oh, we missed that kill. Looking at this bot lane gank coming up here. I don't think anything's gonna happen from it though. Alright, so Annie is not taking any crap at all, as we said before, but he is just showing it. We do have uh, Ace rotating up here, but it looks like he's just going to go back. Uh, double the gold up in the top lane right now for Andy. Good lord. He's going back home. Yeah, buying, buying big, straight into Bilgewater Cutlass. Yeah, he's gonna flaunt that. A lot of good things coming his way. Yep, absolutely. Uh, bot lane is almost perfectly even. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Thanks, Thanos. Let's get Josh Brolin to start casting LCOS games. That guy's attention. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. That was a little more, uh, a little more Tolkien, I think, than you, you meant it to be. Yep. Gandalf. We got we got uh Gandalf being Thanos. Fly you fool. Will Mix Link get involved here? We got a three man top. This is surprisingly aggressive. I uh I'm not sure if that was something they wanted because now there's some lost tempo in the mid lane. Get a couple of kills using his spells. Of course, the, the the ice bird is aggressive with spells thanks to that tier. Uh, as for right now, Blitzkrieg seems to be kind of thrown off currently. White Wolf is coming to play. Oh, that dangerous said Nunu coming up top. Nothing gonna happen from it though. J Dog is playing it safe. Good flash. Smart thing to do. Also he has his alt popped. But that of course means that now he's going to be weaker in the one-on-one -on -one fights against Andy. 
He's also like two levels behind, which is dangerous. Alpha very low, but Ace is no mana. Looks like there was half of an attempt to start a gank there, but realizing j Dog's too far back. Sig is watching this uh, attempt on the uh, Herald here. Bot lane is also having its own fights as we're going on here. We'll try to keep as much of an eye on the action as possible. I think they're going to get it. No one seems to be in much a position to contest Wolf, White Wolf here. Everyone keeps making the little Warwick references for White Wolf, and now I'm starting to do it too. Doesn't look like Blitzkrieg is going to push up in this bot lane despite uh, Tilted Pig and Burn the Heretic waiting. A lot of pings all over the place. J Dog um, managed to come back, he's only level and a half behind now. Gold differential. Still almost double for Andy. Prowler suggesting that Blitz used all their brain power in game one. Might be accurate. I don't know. Like like you guys were saying, uh, Blitz is also kind of in for the late game. I mean, obviously Tilted Pig can go late game as well. So we will see. We'll see if uh, Sig can get a gank here. It's a good time for it. Just go right up around that. What are you doing, Sig? Come on, just go right. There, there we go. Wait, no. All right, change his mind. Lame. Time Good. to go on mid. Looks like it. This is mm, one of those pass, passing through. Okay. See, guys, this is why gank doesn't work. Because people don't gank. But everybody should tink. Ooh, Mix could actually be in a pretty advantageous position here. Jumps right in onto Ace. This could actually be a little bit dangerous here. Uh, ooh, nice flash. Like that. Right as the wall came up, too. Sig just used his ult, too, I believe. Missed. No, wait, no. Right. His ult is, avail is on cooldown. I'm not sure where he used it, though. Yeah, he just used it there. He tried jumping on uh, Mix right there. Alright, so this would be Blitzkrieg's first dragon if they can manage it. Um, everyone is collapsing on them though, so they're going to have to do this quickly. Uh, Burn the Heretic's in a good position to try to jump in there. He is level 6 as well, so that could be a big stun. Ice walls her in. Uh, does get the stun on the Kogma. That's going to be a bit of a problem. They jump in immediately on the Tristana, which is a good idea. Here comes Mixlink for a big ultimate. There is the ultimate from Taric as well, so the invulnerability is unfortunately going to run out as the Nunu is supercharging. Everyone is going to go down. J Dog ults, but just uses it to run away. That's a bit of a waste. Uh, Hickey is going to get away. Ace is going to get killed as the egg is about to hatch. J Dog might get burned. The Heretic Quadra kill. Qua, 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 quadra kill. That's it. That set came to play. And now the Herald as well. This is an incredibly powerful swing here for White Wolf. Very disheartening. White Wolf definitely went back in the locker room and was like, okay, we need to come for this. <laughs> oh boy. So they have, um... No comment, Prowler. Yeah, yeah, this is... We're keeping the stream clean, Prowler. Um... So we have um, a situation here where they went back in the locker room and Andy went, you know, I noticed that uh, in the last game, Sig had 100% kill participation in the early game. I think I'm going to do that too. <laughs> there we go. And so it was. I'm going to take the Nunu, I'm going to take a playbook from Sig, and I'm just going to do exactly what he freaking did. But I'm gonna Look at how kills. that works. Now we got a 700 bounty on this set's head. Let's check the gold differential, because we like laughing. Yep, double, <laughs> double J-Dog still. And for real this time, the other two times I was rounding a little bit, but this is actually double plus f uh, 200, 300. 
Um, in fact, he is double almost everyone on Blitz right now. So when did, uh, I know I haven't played like League of Legends in a while, but when did ADC start going top? When did ADC start punching things? This is that uh, <laughs> muscle wizard joke. <laughs> yeah, what's what's your plan for for this game? Uh, set. I'm gonna cast fist. Okay. And uh, if that doesn't. How's work, that gonna work out? I'm gonna cast grapple. And okay. I'm gonna repeat that until one of them dies. It's not gonna be me because I mean, look at this damage. He just keeps doing it, and it keeps working. No one knows why. We have uh, Prowler saying that Andy's the carry and everyone else is the support. And you know, I hate to invoke Dota here, but this reminds <laughs> me of uh, Dota games where you would have like one really big tank who just gets so fed that he just becomes the carry. And everyone else just kind of holds his hand for him as Sven <laughs> gets an ace by attacking three times. Ace is starting to deal some good damage though. Not quite at any one complete item, though. Not yet, not yet. I will be interested to see when uh, Blitz finds an answer to uh, set, though. They really, they've got to... Someone's got to be an answer for it at some point. And unfortunately for J-Dog, J-Dog is at the worthless Renekton phase right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to be waiting for that game to come through, that bounty is going to be huge gold for whoever gets it. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like the lane swap. Um, Su Sugo and CB Hickey do have the CC to at least uh, keep Andy off of them. In theory, let's see if in practice. Nunu as well, they do get the stun off, so Hickey's going to die. Now, Su now Sugo's in trouble. Bigger. 100% killer participation. You either kill set or you don't. That is some deep stuff there, Prowler. Looks as though Ace is going to die as well. I like that wall, but unfortunately the resurrection happens. There's no one here to help, except for a very sad Warwick. And once, Warwick. A once again, a kill in the mid lane ruins the 100% kill participation. Ah, you hate to see it. Wah, wah, wah. So White Wolf is in a position to get like two or three turrets here. They already have the bot lane one, they've got the mid. Top isn't in great shape either. Uh, they're just doing a big rotation down to Dragon. And he's like, sure, you know, we'll see if you guys can get a gold lead on me while I don't get CS for a minute. And Sig collapses right into Alpha and Andy. Gotta get those wards up. There really aren't any wards on the map up except up in top lane for uh, Blitzkrieg right now. That vision score is gonna be poor for... <laughs> Were they listening to us last match? <laughs> Check out the gold. Um, still essentially double. Uh, Cog is slowly creeping up. He's probably the only one who isn't double. And obviously there is some rounding involved, don't add me. It sounds cool to say that he's got double everyone else's gold. The gold lead is already 7k. That's oh, dangerous territory. <laughs> I'm wondering where they're gonna go with this herald. Taking it top seems like a waste. Will they, will they try to like shove it down mid? Yeah, might as well just shove it down mid or bot. Wherever you can take it here. Why does only the... got what, a couple more minutes for that. Why doesn't the Herald have a cool, like, actual name? Like, I realize everyone calls it what Shelly, but huh. like, wait, what, what? Why doesn't it? Why isn't it? You know, like Baron or Rosh or something. Why don't we have an actual cool name for that? Herald's not good enough for you. No, it's a, that, that's not a name. It's a title. Wasn't Baron a title? No, I think Baron's his actual name. Oh, I guess. Alright, so we've got J Dog against Alpha in the bot lane. I feel like Alpha could just kill J Dog at this point. 
Um, but they're both fine with farming. Alright, so top lane is gone now. Three turrets to none. Uh, next dragon is not up just yet. Ace is taking three on one here in the mid lane. This is probably where we're going to see the Herald. Good stun. Still hasn't ice walled those balls yet. Sig is here too now. Andy is here to be rotating mid as well because this is where the next big fight is going to be. Ari is split pushing bots, so it'll be a 5 on 4, but when all their gold is on Andy, it really doesn't matter who isn't here. Another big ball, they all dodge it. JR dashes in, dashes out, likes nice stuns there on Mixlink. Turret does not go down, but we do have uh, Alpha pushing bot pretty hard. So we have kind of a rotation down to uh, bot, but there's going to be a bit of a collapse here. Ace does get caught. He does not have egg available, I do not believe. Here comes Andy as well. The wall does prevent his appearance slightly there. The invincibility is coming, so Ace is invincible, as is Hickey. Lots of damage going up on Hickey. This turret is gone. Sig may end up dying as well here. Very low. Andy's going to go straight in onto Sig. Nice slow to try to save him, but doesn't quite work. So three on five. Are they going to push here, or are they going to... Listen, they're backing off. I think they're taking their wins. We got Baron coming up in five seconds. Yeah, playing it smart. You've got a 9k gold lead. There really isn't too much of a reason to... Risk it. Wonderful of ones, one-to-ones all day. One, one, one. I mean, I'm hoping we do for option 12, 9 lives. After the gauntlet that was thrown down last week, someone may need to give up their Rex title. <laughs> Very true. Who's it gonna be? We'll find out. Or, you know, we won't, because there'll be a tie and everyone gets to stay being Rex. Because <laughs> if they don't, then we will, uh... When people join the LCUS for the next split, they'll be like, why are you guys referring to them as dinosaurs? What about their names or dinosaurs? <laughs> are you calling those guys Rex? It was a thing. You had to be there. Watch the videos on YouTube. Exactly. YouTube.com slash GMA Gaming. You want to see the, the, the history of the LCUS, the come from behind splits, the undefeated splits, the... Um, no one letting Ace play Anivia or Vigar? <laughs> well, you can watch this split for that too, but... The great rivalries. It's all online on YouTube. Rexes and the non-Rexes. But at this point, um, White Wolf is really just playing the most methodical game you can imagine. I think, they, they, think they realize that all of their money is in one player. And so they kind of want to uh, make sure the rest of the team can stack up as well. So Blitzkrieg is just letting that Drake go in favor of just getting some vision on Baron. They also only have one kill. Yeah. That might change right here. Never mind. Well, it's a good ice wall on Mixlink. Um, Ace has got the stun. Oh, there's Andy. Never mind. Retreat! Run away! Good ice ball. Oh, they might actually get mixed leg! It's gonna be close! Reasonable oh. ice ball! Karthus ult! Sig, I know you want it. I know you want it. Down, boy. Oh, good stun stopping that punch. Ooh, there's a chance for, uh,. There was a chance for Andy there. That set is too big. I don't know, man. They got him down to almost half and didn't use much of their kits for it. Cogma wasn't even there. If Cogma was there, they would have gotten him, I'm pretty sure. Indeed. So they... Yeah, that's gonna be a tough we, time for Blitzkrieg. We saw a vision of how Blitzkrieg wins this game. We saw, we saw it right there with Andy being a step too far forward. And, man, the the Inferno Drake really opens up the blue area. 
It's interesting. Just a smidge. Yeah, a little more than a smidge. So I mean, we we saw we need we need a coordinated five-man move from Blitz, and they need to either pick off people who aren't Andy or pick off Andy, and that's basically all there is to it. Mm -hmm. Now they just need a chance for that. We do have J Dog continuing to farm in the bot lane. We have. I think we just let Andy solo Baron. Let's see how that goes. Might be able to do it. All right. What happens? J Dog um, is not in position. Doesn't teleport available. There is a war that he could teleport down to. If they're gonna go in, they gotta go in now. The wall doesn't really do anything. And that's going to be an uncontested, essentially, Baron. Oh, there's... Just experiment with the layouts here. Okay. Some days the screen settings do one thing, some day they do another. Alright. Never remains consistent. So Now we're just going to see a shove down the mid lane. Yeah. Nine and a half gold lead. Baron buff on all five players. This should be game. And we got the set going on a business trip for good measure. Yeah. Mixlink once again taken very low, but doesn't die. Extremely low. Oh! Second kill of the game! Alright, now everyone turn on Andy. Oh, he's running back. Alright. Okay. Well, that gives uh, some hope. At least it's not a 1 to 12. 2 to 12. Got to be consistent with the 10 ahead. Yeah, now they're only, uh, you know, times six down as opposed to times 12. <laughs> they got another kill, it'll be times four. It's, it's just exponential growth. Basic math. Nice stunks. Never thought you'd be learning some algebra in LCUS, now did you? Is that duck still there? No, the duck went home. <laughs> <laughs> got us focus. I am. I'm looking at uh, Sugo getting some CS. Where is his gold at? 3,000 less than Andy. All right. Doing the best that team, be, though. That's the bar we set. <laughs> Has anybody caught up to Andy in gold yet? Well, it's a good bar to have in this game. Andy has not actually gotten any kills, though, since he finally stopped having 100% kill participation. So that's something worth mentioning. Mm-hmm starting to fan out to the rest of the team and everyone can finally start catching up. I think it's just because everyone sees Annie and runs in fear, but maybe they don't run in fear from everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this will be an Infernal Soul, which just will give them more damage. Can, uh... Can Sig pull off an Alan Z miracle? Will they all get ganked as they face check this bush? Will they? Oh, okay. Good heads up shot there by, uh, by Sugo. Ward on the dragon, so that's setting up for the miracle dive. Ace is trying to prevent any movements up the hill, but I don't think there's any risk of that. So we will see what happens. Ace continuing to push here. Everyone's going to collapse in on him. The charm misses. They pulled that dragon out very successfully. Here comes. No steal, unfortunately, but they're all going in on... A he goes down. 1,000 gold is the benefit. Big Nunu ult, though. J-Dog does end up going down, but it's a two for two. Unfortunately, they lost that dragon. Fortunate, but still, that's pretty good. Getting that bounty from Seth. And AoE is going to be missing that. One of these buttons. There, yeah. All right. So Andy's down. Uh, I think the gold went on to the Cosmo? Yeah, I believe you're right on that. So, I mean, that's definitely a boon for the Cogma. 1,000 gold. It's nothing at all to sneeze at. Hope he goes and buys himself something pretty. Point to ball, you need to add a couple more O's to that so slow comment right there. Gregosaurus saying that White Wolf doesn't realize they need to fight to win. <laughs> well, now that Andy's died, they've realized the situation they're in. 
Their, their god is not, in fact, immortal. Because we put the downer on things. He's, he's only got 2200 health. So, I mean. Not enough tink. Yeah, exactly. Not enough tink. He's got almost as much health as a Tarek, though, for God's sakes. Where, what do we got? Uh, J Dog's at 25. Uh, 21 on the Warwick as well. Where's Leona at? Leona's not even 2,000, I don't think. Just barely. Leona also level 11. Big level disparities here. Supports are all 11. Sig is actually 11 also. No, I'm glad I didn't say this before. I thought this was actually going to be a very quick game with White Wolf. Mm. I mean, they were such a commanding lead and really just had Blitzkrieg on the ropes, but now Blitzkrieg is getting into the late game. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem, right? It's a question of... Um... We have comments about you got a 10k gold lead and you're running. Of course, most of that gold lead is in um, Andy's pocket here. Mixlink once again trapped. Good use of the spell shield or the ice wall there. Ooh, but they grab Sig and just to survive. Um. Anyway, um, so they had most of the gold was on Andy, and I think they focused on that quite a lot. I mean, it's not a bad thing to focus on. If you've got a 10k gold lead and 9k of it is on one player... Indeed. <laughs> 30 minutes in, CB Hickey doesn't have boots? I mean, does Tarek really need boots? <laughs> Tarek has, uh, Tarek's backstory, which I've learned from playing Legends of Runeterra, involves him walking up a mountain. And if you've played Death Stranding, you know walking up mountains does terrible things to your footwear. So Tarek probably doesn't want to buy more shoes. Just simple math here. General Wally, this could be the throw of the split. Uh, I don't know, did you see that Phoenix Nine Lives game last week? Yeah, that might have been worse. He already has the most fabulous shoes. Accurate. Alright, we have another attempted Baron here, but without Andy, this could actually be the momentum shift that turns the game around. He does have teleport, but J Dog is chasing to prevent the teleport. Here comes Sig jumping in. I don't think he's durable enough for this, though. He does get the fear, but just is immediately taken out. Big invincible ultimate coming down. They get Burn the Heretic, they get the smite. Alpha needs to run. Tilted Pig also is running. And he does kill J Dog. Ace may end up going down. Nice shield there from Hickey. I don't think they can take Baron either here. I think they just need to run. Does throw up the ice wall to try to be preventative. But don't forget there's no wall here. Alpha coming back around the other side. One spell ball takes off half of Sugo's health. Hickey's in trouble as well. Good stun from Ace. Does he get the spear? He does. Shutdown initiated. Once again, Curve we are seeing Andy split pushing though. Once again, in this bot lane, his favorite place to split push. Yeah, while well, that shenanigans was going on in the jungle, J Dog went down to Andy AoE and was able to. Never Can mind. Terra killed. Nope. All right, so Ace is not powerful enough to full combo uh, Tilted Pig yet. That is important to know. And his health's getting higher. You know, I, I don't think, despite everyone talking about throwing, I don't think Blitzkrieg is at the point yet where they can counter throw. They're getting there, though. Every, uh, every kill that ticks by, every minion kill that ticks by, they're getting closer. Because uh, Sugo gets bigger and bigger. Still about a 2,000 gold differential, which he's been at since he killed uh, Andy the first time. There are no wards here to see this. I don't think Blitz knows this is happening. I think they're going to actually just give up this Baron without knowing that they're giving up the Baron. Ignorance is bliss. No, they're not going to be ignorant much longer. Until the face checks you in the face. Alright, Dragon is up here now as well, so will they get Elder Drake? This is the fight that's going to decide the game, essentially right here. Are White Wolf going to actually go for Dragon? They are. 
Ace is in this brush. They are actually all in this brush. I'd like to see a alt right now. It's not actually happening. They delete Alpha. Teleport coming in from j Dog. Andy is still very much at full health. He body slams Sig there quite hard. Mix is taken very low as well. Tilted Pig flashes out there. We do have Ace taken low. Hickey is trying to rush in onto Mixlink. Sugo is still very much alive, but so is Andy. Big damage coming from Tilted Pig. Stop watching the power. Clear Congressman. j Dog coming in. Try to get the stun off. It's just j Dog now. And we see Andy's gold come into play. Good lord. Blitzkrieg having a tough time. That was basically the best fight that I think Blitz could have hoped for, and it didn't work out for them. Indeed. Just not quite strong enough to survive in the AoE sorts of damage that White Wolf can pull out. Alright. So and AoE doing his thing. Can this might Sig. Be game. Can Sig hold off Andy for seven seconds until Ace gets up with the disabled. Andy is just focusing down the Nexus. I don't think there's anything he can do. Here comes Hickey as well. And everyone talking about the throws. White Wolf proves him wrong. And once again, the red side wins. Red 2 OP today. It is. All right. Uh, so we have some advanced details for us here. Wow, look at that. Set had the most damage. Imagine. Let's actually tick off total physical... Let's go to total physical damage. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Oof. Sorry. <laughs> I, I just had to see that. Indeed. Almost no damage from Sig, yeah. Blue Warwick's not doing great today. Um, let's check the vision as well. Tark doing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, most of most everyone did all right. Uh, J Dog with the the lowest here. Obviously, um, Burn the Heretic doing a great job with that. All right, so we got the the one to one here. Uh, we have Burn the Heretic actually in the interview room, so we'll hop over for that. Hey, Heretic! Congratulations on a what didn't necessarily feel close, but was closer than you might have thought it was. Game two. Yeah, it felt great. It was really fun to come out after the first game, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way Absolutely. better start. Absolutely. So um, I wanted to get your thoughts to start off with just about the mindset in that game, too. Um, we'll start with just you guys had lost game one. Um, it was relatively close. And what are, you, what are your thoughts going in adjustments you guys were making for game two? Well, I think, uh, I mean, you all saw the Zareth ban. That was obviously a really easy choice for us, but we just talked about our execution of what our comp was going to be. We didn't really feel like that first game was really representative of what we could do with that style of comp, so we are like, let's just run it back, let's change a few little things. And we think, oh, well, obviously it worked a lot better that time, but mm -hmm. we just went into it thinking that we need to fix a couple mistakes we made, like the key ones. And we thought we'd win if we just did that. And I guess it worked out. And um, what when you're in a situation like you were in this game too, where uh, one particular player, in this case Andy, has so much more gold than any other player, um, almost double for, for much of the early game, um, what, what was the thought process of... What, were you guys trying to get him involved in fights more? Were you trying to split push with him more? What were you guys kind of talking about in that situation? Uh, we noticed the tendency with uh, Blitzkrieg that they like to fight us mid a lot. So we were just like, let's just keep them here. Set, just push down to the end hit, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we'll just let them flank around and we'll just win the fight. And we did that a couple times. We got the bear in, you know? Okay. We just we let him split push as much as possible. Just get that gold lead up and up and up until he basically does like the most damage ever from and a set. And you guys weren't worried, I mean, obviously he had teleport, but you weren't necessarily worried that um, his lack of presence was a detriment to you guys because he was half your gold? No, I, I don't think so. I think Tilted was still putting out a lot of damage, and of course we had the Ari for the picks. I think he mm -hmm. still, like, causing the Renekton to go down every single time he was there, or causing their whole team to try to collapse on him multiple times was still enough presence for us. Okay. And when we actually got him into a fight, it was... 
really good for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Nicola, you got anything? Uh, I think I got anything else to add. I just want to say congratulations, Brent the Heretic. Well done to All you right. guys for coming back and coming to play. That was an amazing game to watch. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing game to play. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, you got any uh, other shout outs you want to do? Uh, Wally and I see. See you next week. That's all I gotta say. All right. Man, man a few words, but man of, uh, from a team of great actions. Right. Um, so we will see you guys next week and maybe Seth will get banned. <laughs> Talk to you then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, so with that, uh, we will be moving on to the Big Rex showdown. What, what is there to say about this except it's a dinosaur fight? Who doesn't like watching dinosaurs fight? seen Jurassic Park, you've seen King Kong, albeit that was more of a monkey versus a dinosaur, but this is going to be League of Legends, mano y mano, Rex versus Rex. The Rex that wins takes the Rex title. And Come on now. And we'll see if uh, Renekton shows up, because he's been pretty central today. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> quick break, don't go anywhere, you won't want to miss this. <laughs>